everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Motion is seen in many things around us. It is part of our everyday experiences. We experience motion in walking, running, jumping, and swimming. But in our study of motion, you might have asked yourself, Is motion and moving the same? No. Motion is relative. Bakit sinasabing relative ang motion? Because it relates to something else. Motion is formally defined as the continuous change in an object with respect to a fixed point of reference. The point of reference makes motion relative. Knowing that, let's identify some objects which are in motion or at rest. Is the girl in motion? Remember, motion is relative. It relates to a reference point. Saan dito ang ating reference point? It's this one, the starting line. When she starts to run, she goes this way. Because of this, the girl is said to be in motion. Next, is the bike in motion? Nasaan ang reference point? It's here. And when it goes that way, a change in direction is observed and therefore there is motion. Next, is the ball in motion? Nasaan ang reference point? It nasa kamay ng mother. And when she throws the ball, it goes to the child. And a change in direction is observed with respect to the reference point. Therefore, the ball is in motion. How about this one? Is the car in motion? Nasaan ang reference point? It's here. When the car starts to move from that point, the car changes direction. It goes here, therefore making it in motion. In the same situation of a moving car, let's find out if the driver is in motion or at rest. This is the driver. To determine if it is in motion, we need a reference point. This is the reference point. Did the direction of the driver change when the car moved? No. It was the car's direction which changed. But the driver remained at the rest inside the car, therefore making the driver at rest. How about this one? Is the man in motion or at rest? Ang taong ito ay at rest. Dahil ang kanyang position remained the same with respect to the reference point. Before we end our short Shenzhen Amazing video for today, let's have a quick recap first. In this video, we talk about motion, including the fact that motion is relative and the conditions that must be present to say that an object is in motion. And we also cited some examples which makes some objects at rest. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!